Hi, I'm Jeff Payne and I'm a preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar and today I want to talk about the return filter on hydraulic excavators. This filter is probably the most abused filter that's never changed right by hardly anyone and I'm going to show you why they changed it the wrong way and what that does when you change it the wrong way. First of all, let's talk about how this oil flows in this machine. The oil is in the hydraulic tank underneath here and when the machine asks for oil, comes out the bottom of the tank, goes into the pump compartment, into the pump here. From the pump it goes out, goes out to the valves, out to the cylinders and does work for us. And when it's all done doing work, it comes back through the return and comes in and goes through the return filter. So you can see the oil is filtered just before it goes into the tank. Most all machines are like that because it would take a, a quite an expensive filter to have a filter on the pressure side versus the return side. So let's get inside here and take a look at it. First thing we want to do is open up this cap here. Now listen when you open this up, hear that hissing? We want to let that pressure out of there, out of the tank. We don't need to take the cap off the way this thing's cut and designed. You can just let the pressure out like that. So once, we, once we've let our pressure out of there, we're going to take the top off here. Now before I take this off all the way, I want to make sure I don't get any dirt down in here. So I'm going to take a towel, I'm going to wipe around the edges in here. Sometimes there will be dirt and dust in this area. Also, if I have an air gun or an air nozzle available, I could spray that off in this area. I have Scott assisting me here today. Scott, do you want to make this a little faster here? Okay, so we've got the, the bolts out of here, and we're going to take this cap off. Now, we don't want to just lay the cap down on dirt or anything like that because this is a cl clean compartment in here. So we'll take this cap off, and we can sit down like this. At this point, when we have this off, if there's any dirt around the edges, we want to make sure we brush that to the outside edge so it doesn't go down in the filter. Now we're going to look at the directions. This is where most people go wrong on these filters. They want to take these filters, pop this snap ring out, which is a very easy snap ring to pop out. They want to take the cap off. They want to take the filter out, put a new filter in, put it back together. When they do that, what they don't realize is in the bottom of this canister, there are two ports. There's the inlet port and the outlet port. One is clean oil, one is dirty oil. As soon as we take this apart, take that cap off with this canister in here and take that filter out, we're back flushing the filter. So we've had this filter in here for a thousand hours. Now we've just back flushed it. We put dirt down inside our canister. We have two ports open in the bottom of the canister and that dirty oil doesn't know which side's clean and which side's dirty. So it's going to go into the tank, which we already said the tank is clean oil. It's going to get cycled through the whole machine, through the pump and everything before it comes back through this filter and gets filtered out. So if you do that, you're doing great damage to your machine by taking a shortcut change in this filter. So let's follow the directions. On here, it says one, two, three, four, five. It's got five steps in how to change this filter. One, it says read the manual. If you don't know how to do this, you should read the manual. Number two, it's got a little vent plug in here. We're going to make sure that there's no pressure on that. We're going to crack that loose. Now when you tighten this back up, you don't want to go real tight. It is an aluminum housing. It only has three or four threads down into it and it doesn't take a lot of torque to tighten that back up. Once that's back in, step three, it says raise the filter up turn it 180 degrees and remove the canister. So to do that, I'm going to step up on, on top of the machine here so I can get a better angle on it. So directions steps 3, 4, and 5 say to raise it up, turn it 180 degrees, and then remove the, the cartridge. So we're going to raise it up. We're going to turn it 180 degrees. Like this, you'll see a slot line up on this side. And at that point, we can remove the cartridge from here. Now with this cartridge removed, we can take this over to our bench or whatever. We can take this all apart. We can clean it. We can put that new filter element inside here. And that way, we've put no dirt down inside here. When I rotated that 180 degrees, what I did was I actually closed off two valves. The first 90 degrees closed the valve in this canister. The second 90 degrees closed the valve in the bottom of this cartridge holder here. And that separated the tank oil and everything. So this way we're keeping all the dirt inside here. When you're all done, 
you simply put it back down in the hole with a clean new filter in it, line up your slot, turn it 180 degrees, push it down. Then you have your top, look at your top, make sure it's not dirty. You also notice this top has a place for the handle, so if you try to put it on in the wrong direction, it won't fit. You want to look at your O-ring, and you want to make sure that it's not cut and it's still nice and round. If it's starting to get flat on it or you see cuts in it, you need to replace that O-ring. If it looks okay, then we can go ahead and reuse it. We'll take our cap, we'll line up our slot with our handle, we'll put it back together, put our bolts in, tighten it back up, and it'll be all done. Now, to learn how to do this, you can always consult your operation and maintenance manual located in the cab behind the seat in the seat pocket. If you need more information over and above that, you can always contact your local cat dealer.